When you're making stop motion movies, you usually run into situations where you need to turn a bunch of pictures into a movie file, or you need to convert a movie file back into a series of pictures, or you have a movie file that needs to be compressed before you start editing it. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use MPEG Stream Club to accomplish both of these tasks. If you bought the Stop Motion Explosion Animation Kit, this program is included on the CD in the back of the book. If you're watching this webinar, you can find a download link at the bottom of this page. First, understand that Stream Clip doesn't play well with PNG images. If you're capturing images with a frame grabber, make sure that you're capturing JPEGs. Secondly, the program is available for both OS X and Windows. The interface for both platforms is pretty much identical, so even though I'm using the program on a Mac right now, you can follow along on Windows, no problem. First, we're going to compress an uncompressed video file. You'll do this differently depending on if you want to edit your movie on the Mac or on Windows. First, I'll show you how to compress your movie on the Mac. Click File, Open Files, and find your movie file. Click Open. If you click this button here, the movie plays. You can play it forward and backwards, all kinds of stuff. Now for editing on the Mac and iMovie, you want to click File, Export to MPEG-4. So you have a bunch of settings to choose here. Uncheck Interlay Scaling, then click the iTunes button in the top right corner. Two key differences you should be aware of. If you are not using a high definition camera and working with square, standard definition footage, you want to click the 3.4 SD option. If you're working with widescreen footage, click the 16.9 SD option. If you're working with HD footage, select one of the two HD options here. If you need the full 1080 by 920 resolution, you can select it on the previous screen. After making your selection, click OK and make MP4. Save the video file. We're going to be exporting this movie for editing in Windows Movie Maker now. Click File, Export to AVI. Then in the top drop down menu, click either Apple Motion JPEG A or JPEG 2000. The first option takes up less space, but the image quality of the second option is better. Sound should be set to either no sound or uncompressed in the drop down menu. Set the video resolution by checking one of the options available in the window. Again, this depends what the resolution of the original file was and what output you need for editing. Since I'm using standard definition 3.4 footage, I'm selecting this option. Click Make AVI and you're done. If you want to learn how to convert video into pictures or vice versa, check out the next MPEG Stream Club video. Mm -hmm.